सो नेक्स्ट डीसीटी 2017 क्वेश्चन पेपर सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी ऑप्शन ए मॉस ऑप्शन बी डेंसिटी ऑप्शन सी फोर्स ऑप्शन डी स्पीड सो वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी सो मास इज ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी डेंसिटी इज ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी स्पीड इज आल्सो ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी बट फोर्स इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी सो व्हाट इज वेक्टर क्वांटिटी ए क्वांटिटी व्हिच हैज बोथ मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन इज कॉल्ड वेक्टर क्वांटिटी सो व्हाट इज स्केलर क्वांटिटी ए क्वांटिटी व्हिच हैज ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड बट नो डायरेक्शन सच हैज मास डेंसिटी स्पीड और द स्केलर क्वांटिटीज व्हिच हैज ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड बट नो डायरेक्शन सो फोर्स इज नॉट अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी ऑप्शन सी फोर्स is not a scalar quantity one of the following is not a scalar quantity means force is not a scalar quantity option c is the right answer so next question question number 4 if a body fixed about point fixed about a point rotates in clockwise direction the movement of force option a positive option b negative option c zero option d equal so if a body fixed about a point and rotates in clock clockwise direction then the movement of force is negative negative so if a body fixed about a point rotates in clockwise direction if a body rotates in clockwise direction then the momentum then the movement of force is negative if the same body same body rotates in counter clockwise direction then momentum taken as positive so for clockwise direction we have negative moment of force and for counter clock we have positive positive moment of force so if a body fixed about rotate in clockwise so clockwise direction we have negative moment of force so option b negative moment of force is the right answer so if a body fixed about a point rotates in clockwise direction clockwise means it's a negative moment of force so option b is the right answer question number 5 the resultant magnitude of two forces p and q acting in same line and same direction is option a p minus q option b p plus q option c q minus p option d p by q so the resultant of magnitude the resultant of magnitude of two forces p and q there are two forces p and q which are acting in same line and same direction then the resultant is so the formula to find resultant is r is equal to square root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta so this is the formula to find the magnitude of resultant or resultant magnitude square root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta where p and q are the forces so the forces are acting on the same line which means theta is equal to 0 so theta is equal to 0 when the two forces acting in the same line so cos 0 what is the value of cos 0 is equal to 1 then it becomes r is equal to square root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q so which is in the form of a plus b whole square so what is a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 ab so in place of a plus b we have p plus q so p square q square so 2 plus 2 pq i can write that r is equal to square root of p plus q whole square so which is in the form of a plus b square a square means p square b square in in place of b square we have q square in place of 2ab we have p p into two times of p into q so in place of p square plus q square plus 2pq i can write that p plus q whole square so i can cancel the square with root so r is equal to p plus q so this is the resultant magnitude of two forces p and q which are act in the same line and same direction so r is equal to p plus q so 
option B, P plus Q is the right answer. So, we have to note that P plus Q square is in the form of A plus B square. A plus B square means A square plus B square plus 2AB, which can reduce this whole term into P plus Q whole square. The square square get cancelled, R is equal to P plus Q. So, option B, P plus Q is the right answer. So, next question, the resultant of two forces, 6 Newton and 8 Newton acting right angle to each other, right angle to each other is dash. So, is dash, option A, 100 Newton, option B, 10 Newton, option C, 48 Newton, option D, 14 Newton. So, the resultant of two forces, 6 Newton and 8 Newton acting at right angle. So, we have the same formula to find resultant R is equal to square root of P square plus Q square plus 2 times of P Q cos theta. So, he has given 6 Newton, P is equal to 6 Newton, 6 Newton, Q is equal to 8 Newton and he says at right angle means theta is equal to 90 degree which means cos 90 is equal to 0. So, cos 90 value is 0 then the whole term becomes 0 then what is the R? R become square root of P square plus Q square this terms this whole term become 0 because cos 90 is 0 0 by anything is 0. So, the formula reduced to R is equal to square root of P square plus Q square. So, then what is P? P is a 6, 6 square plus 8 square. So, what is the value of 6 square? 36. So, 8 square 64 which means under the root of 100 which gives 10 Newton. Root of 100 is 10 Newton. So, the right answer is option B. 10 Newton is the right answer. The resultant of two force 6 Newton and 8 Newton acting at right angle to each other is option B 10 Newton. So, next question, question number 7. The value of resultant magnitude of two forces acting at a point is maximum when the angle between the two forces is. So, when the resultant of value, the resultant magnitude or magnitude of resultant is maximum at which condition? He is asking about which condition? When the angle between the two forces is 0, option A is 0, option B 90 degree, option C 180 degree, option D 45 degree. So, the resultant is given by the same formula R is equal to square root of P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta, where theta is the angle between the two forces. So, resultant will be maximum when the angle is 0. So, when the angle between two forces is 0, then the resultant is maximum. When the angle is 180 degree, then the resultant is minimum. So, the value of resultant magnitude or magnitude of resultant of two forces acting at a point is maximum when the angle between the two forces is 0 degree. So, option A is the right answer. So, next question, question number 35. The SI unit of coefficient of viscosity is dash. Option A, poise. Option B, Newton second per meter square. Option C, Newton per second meter square. Option D, Newton per second per meter square. So, what is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity or dynamic viscosity? So, the coefficient of viscosity, the unit of coefficient of viscosity is Newton second per meter square is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity. So, option B, Newton second per meter square, option B is the right answer. Option A, poise is also a right answer, but it is not SI unit, SI unit, it is a unit in CGS system, centimeter gram second system. In CGS, the unit of coefficient of viscosity is poise, but in SI system, the coefficient of viscosity, unit of coefficient of viscosity is Newton second per meter square. So, option B is the right answer. So, next question number 36. The prefix used for 10 to the power plus 9 is. So, option A, mega, option B, tera, option C, giga, option D, hecta. So, for mega, we have 10 to the power of plus 6 is called mega, 10 to the power of plus 12 is called tera, 10 to the power 
9 10 to the power plus 9 is giga 10 to the power plus 2 is hecta so hecta is 10 to the power plus 2 giga 10 to the power plus 9 tera 10 to the power plus 12 mega 10 to the power plus 6 so for 10 to the power plus 9 we can say that it's giga option c giga means 10 to the power of plus 9 or positive 9 so option c giga is the right answer next question question number 37 the physical quantity which has a dimensional formula m l to the power 0 t to the power minus 2 options are option a force option b surface tension option c viscosity option d work so he has given a dimensional formula so we have to find for which quantity the dimensional formula holds good it it is is it is for force surface tension viscosity or work so for force we have dimensional formula for force so m l t to the power minus 2 is the dimensional formula for force so m here m m is there but l to the power 0 so force the given dimensional formula is not applied for force or it is not related to force so next surface tension surface tension surface tension so the unit of surface tension is newton per newton per meter so newton per meter means m l t minus 2 divided by l so the s i unit of so newton is the s i unit of force so we have a dimensional formula for force m l t minus 2 and for distance meter we have length l so on solving m l so l minus 1 t minus 2 so so kelagade iro ella na nanu mele thogo bandre so power negative agutte so ill en vela and its positive one irutte so 1 minus 1 0 so we will get m l 0 t minus 2 so is the right answer so option b surface tension is the right answer so m l to the power 0 t to the power minus 2 is the dimensional formula for physical quantity surface tension so viscosity work we need not to check so the answer came for surface tension the dimensional formula m l0 t minus 2 for surface tension so option b surface tension is the right answer next 38 question the least count of slide caliper is given by dash option a 1 msd plus 1 vsd option b 1 msd into 1 vsd option c 1 msd minus 1 vsd option d 1 msd divided by 1 vsd so the least count of slide caliper or vernier caliper is given by the difference between the value of 1 msd and value of 1 vsd so option c 1 msd minus 1 vsd 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division is the least count of a slide caliper so option c is the right answer for this question so next 39th question the product of force and time is dash option a momentum option b movement option c impulse option d acceleration so the product of force and time what is momentum momentum is the product of mass into velocity so the product of mass into velocity is momentum what is movement it is the product of force and distance force and distance impulse impulse is the product of force and time so option c is the right answer acceleration is the ratio of velocity by time so velocity by time so the product of force and time is impulse option c is the right answer